Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming and this is from the Depths Adventure mode I am starting here and I say hopefully because um, as most people will know that have done adventure it's the first little part that is the most important the first half an hour to an hour of um, your adventure mode you either gonna make it or not I feel so um, anyway first of all let's just go through some basics i'm going to pause this just for a moment first of all is my options just to confirm a few bits and pieces that are different to normal and the only thing is in the config in that my automatic detection is some currently set at one percent so zero one normal is 0.1 so uh, but some people I know like to run this at zero, I don't. So what this means is things won't be totally and utterly stealth. Uh, they will be subject to um, being at least seen in some way. But if you are stealthy, you're unlikely to get hit really badly. Right, whilst this is loading up my little starter system, just um, to get this first resource zone, going through a couple of little my views on the starter campaign oh sorry the adventure shall we say not starter campaign the adventure uh, as i said the first little while is the most important um there is in my view a number of ways of getting through the first part and how to play adventure uh, some of them are hard counters and some of them are slightly easier um, one way is, let me just bear with me one second, I'm just going to put this on a slightly slower speed while I'm talking here. Uh, one way is to, is to go for subs. Um, make this raft, fill it with some metal and stone, and then sink down. So, because most of the ships in this certain level cannot detect and or attack subs effectively. So that's the one. Um, but that's a hard counter. The second one is a sort of hard counter and let's go the other way build something that goes up into space and do everything from space because again very few items can attack you from space um third way um after the starting of, but also a way of doing the adventure is build it big and that is build a single uh, vessel that's really big with lots of armor, lots of guns, etc., etc. And there's lots of people I see do that. Certainly in the mid end of the campaign, it's all about big. Um, the other way what I'm sort of doing is the fleet or drone system. Uh, could be drones, could be fleet. Um, my version is is, is fleet. So I'm gonna try to have a single main ship which is going to be the build i'll build up which is then do all my repairs and have all the materials do mining etc etc and um got to protect it with a fleet of other ships which are not in my view overpowered and uh, we're going to use the royal navy as examples and um at this point um, I hopefully you may have seen some of my videos where I've been doing some of the reviews of the ships I intend to bring in to the adventure mode. So that's the basis. They're not going to be overpowered. If anything, they're underpowered. Um, so, and they've got to work in a group um, to go through. Anyway, that's my plan. And uh, we'll revise some bits and pieces as we go through. So let's get this... Um, uh, started off again. Um, let's just. What did I do? What did I do? Where'd go there. Okay. Some other bits of uh, adventure mode. You have you, you have sort of got a third per person view. Um, you can go here. Um, you can press E twice, and you get a sort of third person view. Uh, when ships are around, you can only transfer yourself to other ships if you've got a teleporter pad most of the larger ships i've made have teleporter pad right so now we've got this is my little it hasn't quite finished yet actually it's almost there this is my little starter raft it's a, a conversion of that we're just waiting for on the back i don't think they're gonna go on there actually i'm gonna have to um do that to 
give there we go for some reason he didn't put the miners on there right now the miners are on there and start working and come on yep there, there we, we've got mining coming in okay so in this first mining zone and general area we can get about 7,000 materials give or take um, from this area maybe 8,000 and I've got to defend myself in this first little while we've got nothing on the horizon at the moment so I'm gonna need to bring in a ship which is suitable so my first one knows your ship is one that I haven't done a video on yet so we do now and just go through a history and that is my harbor defense motor launches so we've got a few versions which are slightly different size so we're doing a set for that one 20 meters 100 yeah that seems to be okay so um, the harbor defense boats were early war 1939 design by the admiralty for a ship which could um provide sub anti-sub and basically harbor defense so it was fast enough and it's pro it's mainly its provision was to outturn the turning circle of a submarine uh, they were fairly slow only maybe 12 knots maximum speed and they are armed with or intended to be armed with a three pounder gun on the front and a 20 mil on the back and a couple of lewis guns so we've i'm gonna follow that basic design um the reality, uh, they also had some, like a few depth charges, but the reality was they were sometimes just had two pounders or just a couple of twenties or, you know, um, armaments varied. Um, so they did last quite well and they actually, they ended up going all over the place into Malta, down into Africa. Um, they ended up, I think, over in, um, some were made in Australia. And again, I think they went all over the place, even though they were designed for just harbour they ended up traveling quite long distances in the sea they weren't very seaworthy they wobbled around a lot and because of their increased turning circle they tended to uh, not hold a steady course all that well um, anyway this is almost built um, so we'll hopefully get this in a little while and the reason I've chosen this is it is a few number of blocks it's only 3,000 blocks so hopefully we're gonna get enough from this resource zone to get this built and hopefully a second one um, of these uh, HTMLs and their also their role is going to be very much um, uh, defense they they basically only really go into a, an offensive mode on their broad on their um, when something gets within about 1500 meters so they're very uh, defense orientated um, so hopefully the other the other thing to think about is your vehicles and your ships need resources so if I said I we're gonna get about 7,000 hopefully that's gonna be about right there's no point in spending all of that on one ship and it have no resources because it won't be able to power its guns or its engines. So even though this is three and a half, three thousand, I think, or three and a half thousand, we need another thousand or so to give it some resources. Right, so hopefully we're just waiting now for resources to come out of the zone. We've still got a thousand left in this resource zone, which is good. Now I'm doing, I am going to minimize the amount of building I do in the, the adventure, limiting it to like little changes I just made, adding an extra gatherer on here just to, to speed up the process hopefully. Um, but I am going to limit building because I, I, I have problems basically as I've explained in the previous video and uh, yeah, don't want, <laughs> don't want those sort of issues if I can help it. Um, so most of my ships will be basically created from uh, the designer and then brought into the adventure mode 
so this is nearly done hopefully we've got the last gun so basically yep we have that now i don't think i have a heart stone on this ship so i'm not going to go aboard but basically if it stays still for a second what i can do is actually this is i can go onto there select the hdml and then say build on this force and then that puts me onto the force so i can go and have a little look so basically we've got a 60 a simple 60 mil on the front just acting as that uh, three bounder some 30 mil assault cannon and a quad 20 mil it's all wood at this moment um this is a very basic cheap design uh 3200 materials 12 meter speed um it ha you can actually go underneath it's a fairly simple underneath nice simple engine everything's in the center if this gets hit it's gonna go boom there's no two ways around that this is designed to be cheap that's 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 its pure thing and defensive um it's better than having no defenses let's take that off and go back to the thing right um how much materials we got we're still giving materials to the html so he's up to 1200 of nearly 2000 that's fine what we'll do is we'll wait to see if we've got anything coming in no we are clear okay so far which is a good start um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait to see if we get enough material from this zone uh we've still got some with it looks like the zone i don't know it's, zone could run out of material so i've managed to survive a, a night and morning of me too and i think it's almost coming at midday it's always difficult which, which direction is that's north yeah it's about midday um and not being and we all got sunk on the horizon i was just to say we're not being molested by anyone so let's go and have a look what is there i think which direction was that uh let's go on, there we go and uh, we have what have we got here we have a sea viper okay that i think is something which is doable with our hdmls so i could either send my this up there or i might do is put try moving them over we've also almost got enough to build a second one so let's start building a second hdml i think that's going to be as much as we're gonna get i don't think this resource zone is gonna have much left but we'll see if we can get one more and what we can do is say right just go into combat mode now every 10 seconds he's gonna set itself back so uh we'll have to keep changing that back into combat mode to keep him going towards the enemy the other alternative is that i start driving towards the enemy until they're in range of my ships now normally i don't want to do that with these particular vessels because they're not very powerful basically but i'm going to take a risk um because it is only a sea viper um that's very lucky i mean um in the start i've had various large um gray talon i've had a retarius which is always a problem i think that was is that uh white flare uh that can be with its missiles that can be a, a real pain to uh take out or be taken out by so having a, a sea viper is lucky oh i have my second ship come coming online let's just sort him out in some ways i want him to have his position for ready for there so your that's your fleet position and i'm gonna rename you to 11. okay he's almost done oh uh, the only problem is that 10 seconds okay let's send let's send them both out well, are we still getting resources here we're still getting resources so i'm gonna keep on this let's send both of these troops out now i could change the blocks on these to a higher value and i have done that on some to make them 60 seconds but i want these to be defensive we'll wait until we can bring a fair meal in before we uh start being 
more offensive based okay we've got something he's obviously in range now let's just come on let's have a quick check see if there's make sure there's no oh yeah i've got uh, 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 okay 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 um cancel all, all all commands until i check out what else we've got here uh we have got oh that is a deliverance that's not good and a scorn uh neither of those ships do i want to be around now this is where i can be a little bit more form up and fly with fleet moving out uh, we're gonna go after this sea viper moving out um i've set my adventure raft to be on mode so we'll head towards the sea viper but hopefully once we're in close enough my two ships will my two hdmls will take over and start attacking him um my ship is very erratic that is partially intentional because it helps to not be shot but if i get too close it will be a problem so at the moment they're not let's see if i can still get them to go i want i don't want to go after that jacob scorn or deliverance so this is the other option or, or a very common thing you have to do in adventure mode run know when to run if you can then let like like that deliverance and jacob scorn one of those ships is going to destroy the other and if they leave a nice little bunch of materials on the ground it's possible to race in get the materials and then head out again that's always possible not guaranteed <laughs> but possible um, right okay have my ships automate no they haven't gone in let's just see where we are we might have to just moving go out. over this way moving let's, out let's go over there right let's see resource zones any resource zones we've still got the scorn and deliverance are we've got one of them's gone ai dead now where's that resource zone gone again lost it okay we're not worried about that for the moment okay so one of them died and left let's see how many uh, no the uh, the deliverance survived or is that is that going down as well oh the deliver hey hey whoa, hang on hang on hang on this oh no that the scorn survived but there is a hundred and thirty eight thousand material there okay let's see if we can let's see if we can get this viper yep they're in gun range which is good which is, means these are within 2000 i think roughly if we could get this to sea viper and then sneak around that that scorn though is very fast so there's a chance we're not gonna get and i'm getting bombarded so i actually don't want to get any Moving closer out. now so i'm Moving gonna out. come over here and let my two guys take over the the mobbing Come on, it's not letting me. Um, oh well, let's not worry about it. I think if I go into here and go, there is a way of going into third party view. It's not letting me do it though. So, okay, uh, wait a minute, you guys, go on, go and attack him. Go on, stay on, stay on target. Right, I need you to take out that Viper. Right, I'm just gonna have to keep these on attack mode. So that little that little viper is targeting me and i don't want that oh i think they've gone into attack mode automatically no no one's gone off come on that's fine How, is that is that viper taking damage All right, let's moving see. out yes it has and it's been removed 
Okay, I Moving can out. come over here then and get those get those uh, resources. Right, where's that scorn? That scorn is still here and he's coming for me. So I need to get those resources and then skedaddle. Um, we got a green and we got a red, blue. All right, I don't like that scorn. That scorn could do us a lot of damage. Basically, I don't want to risk that but let's get that 370 and then see if we can then uh moving out come over here let's see moving if out. we can moving out get to that position without the scorn really being a problem or if he focuses on the hdmls if i can get to that 138k whew, i can build something nice that will be the idea now, I've still got resources, yep, and my, both of my guys are still okay, hopefully. Oh, they're firing against the Scorn. Stop going into me. That's not helping. Stupid, ruddy boats. <sighs> oh. Okay, Receiving. it's because you're a bit too close to me. Moving now. Moving Let's put now. you there. Receiving. Moving now. His waypoint was a bit too close. Oh, see that ah that that allowed me into true third person view. Interesting. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, fair enough. Mm. Such is life. Right. We're still going on at our, at our whatever speed we can we can manage. Did we manage to pick up that resources? I think we did. Let's see. Yes, I think we did. Now, I've just got to hope we can run away faster than that uh, scorn can catch up with us. Or we do enough damage to him that um, he loses ability to follow us. Oh, this is the bit where it gets a little bit things. Let's just get on here and see how we go. So having a look at the Scorn, he's still there, he's still coming after us. Although I think our two ships have now gone into attack mode. Now he's only got really offensively these small cannons they can still do a bit of damage um, and the ram so there's a chance or two have got now they've got nothing that goes against the wood it's gonna take a while to take him out but they are going to be going around him oh he's got big guns on the back is he uh, I've forgotten with this what this has got. Has he got some guns on the back somewhere? Can't see now. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, he's just got small guns all round. Am I taking any damage? Little bit. Oh, oh, oh. That, well, that was a, a bit of a surprise, actually. Let's um, go and get those resources. Moving out. However much they happen to end up being. 2,300? I'll take it. And the raft has almost made it to that big uh, resource piñata that the deliverance left. Our HDMLs are holding up a, a vanguard that tried to uh, intercept us. And there's also, I think, a Jacob Scorn around. But at the moment, I'm trying to uh, get to this resource before this vanguard up ahead and then i'm gonna have to build something quick to a take out this vanguard but also defend against the um jacob's scorn now i'm thinking either maybe an updated hdml is a possibility uh, something with a little bit more power um or and that may be a quick solution because i need something to quickly go against this vanguard here so i think i'm gonna 
put a, a next level HDML up because I think the two that are out there may well um, uh, succumb to the scorn and then maybe a fair mill. There's enough resources here to hopefully build a fair mill. Um, which is my next level up but i've got to get to these resources first as soon as i get to these resources i can build a ship i'm, I'm close yes it's, it's very janky on the screen uh apologies to, for that um this ship is n in no way stable so yeah there's a vanguard now hopefully the vanguard's going to be aiming for something other than me doesn't seem to be shooting at me at the moment uh which is a positive but I don't know how long that will last for. So I'd rather just get there quickly and hopefully get this ship built. And we've got the materials. Let's get this HTML sorted out. Let's get a HTML2 out, I think. Yeah, let's just quickly get that built. Uh, there we go. And I'll build some more um of these just to get these this built a little quicker and then get myself a fair meal built yes it's already starting to that 40 because it's got the slightly better improved weapons i think that 40 should do a reasonable job let's hope all right yep right now let's get built a uh, fair mills that's under so the fair mills were in the video from um, hopefully earlier because um, i think i may have said this i'm spawning in vehicles as i go along right well we're loading a fair mill that's got um torpedoes so this is a torpedo armed fair mill Uh, that HTML, let's just set its uh, position from us. That HTML is, um, that's, that's going to be HTML2. Well, just change it to 21. And set it, Receiving. whoops, where are we, where are we, where are we? Sometimes it gets a little difficult to see. Where are we? There we are, Listen. so, yeah. Moving out. Oh, no, Moving I actually out. want you there. It's where's there you Receiving. are. Moving now. Receiving. And you will go. Returning to formation. Moving now. Right. That's that. Hopefully, will. start attacking and the HTML 21 I'm just set to attack mode as well let's just let them go now they have got a a three a three pounder gun on the front so that should be right now I've got my HTML let's just see what else has happened so those two are somewhat uh, depreciated let's see where they were I double click on them yeah one's here and we've got a Jacob scorn around there um and a vanguard anything else on the horizon at the moment uh we there's a zone there nothing to thank to the south um just no i think we're okay so it's just that scorn can be a problem so next stages is what do i want to do with my ship here um let me just put a pause on while I, I hope... Actually, let's just make sure this fair meal is doing a good job. So if I do build on force... Yes, that seems to have sent out some torpedoes, which is good. We like torpedoes. Torpedoes make things go boom, which is a good thing. So it's got... It's, they're still simple weapons, but at least it is a 3-inch gun... 20 and a 40 so this should be able to do some yes yeah, taken out one of them with that torpedo goody goody 
Yep, I think that fair meal should do the trick for the moment. Okay, let's come off of that. So, ah, see, that's, that's, that's put me into free mode. It's amazing how it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, I have to remember that. Go build on something and then come out. Anyway, um, building, next ships. I've got some resources here. Let's just put this into a pause mode while I explain something. One thing about adventure mode is you can't remove this original raft. If you do, the game ends. And more importantly, it's all about this... Um, the, the heartstone that's in here somewhere. Um, the rest of it can all disappear, to be honest. That's not a, really a problem. So any ship I now build has to be built effectively based upon that heartstone. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, <laughs> otherwise, it will all go. Now, uh, one thing you can do is just go into build mode and start building your ship. But I want to try and do this with retrofits. So, first of all, I'm just going to rename this here. So, in Spirit, it's going to be called Home Base. Oops. Home Base. So, we can always recognize it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and do a retrofit on here. Let me just save the game before I do anything in case I get any problems whilst doing this and I have to change the idea so um i also haven't saved it in a little while in case i get a crash which i have had one crash already um whilst in the game but not too bad uh, okay so the retrofit now i have a, an adventure version of the miner so i'm hoping that this will retrofit to this miner see everything's gone except the heartstone and these uh, containers and me. So I should be able to get back on here is the, the hope. So I need to get back onto this. And if I, whoops, if I go here and put B, I have got a chair. Okay. So I don't know what that's. Let's get rid of that. So yeah, I built a, a chair and it's got basically some metal so it's now going to sink under the water at first which isn't a bad thing and now the rest of the ship is going to be built around um me now obviously to do this i, I one th other thing i could have done or should do or however you want to class it as is set up um, a, a ship near me with lots of repair tentacles um, as it is i'm going to do it with my my own unit and hopefully that will be enough uh repair bots and, re and repair ability to bring the ship into being right let's see what's happening elsewhere on the map because um, home base is here HTML's there, HTML there. This one's defending me just at this moment. And let's just see how the fair meal is. Oh, I think the fair meal's doing it. So there's, is there more salvage around? 3,000 there. Yes, yeah, more salvage available. Hopefully the, it'd be good if the HTML's could. Can you get there? No. Just while we're here, there's a limit. Um, Moving now. What's the, there is a now. limit as to how Moving close now. we can get these units, Moving which was something we'll have to think about in the future. But at the moment, let me just wait. This has worked by the looks of it. I haven't died whilst doing this retrofit. Um, so let's let this uh, finish building and hopefully I'll have a new home base for me to work from. We've taken on most of the we can see the resource pods are filling up now once ah see we've got rid of that now i can i'm going to enable my runaway mode now um let's enable that because we're mainly built up and we have taken everything from that resource zone so i'm going to also now take away a lot of these extra builders because we're more or less 
built up so we can start running away basically and not that bit so I got We got that. We, what have we got? We, uh, there's no a fair meal has got launched, which is good. That will hopefully give us some right uh, more torpedoes, basically. Let's see what we've got. Um, we've got ourselves now available. Two uh, fair meal and the HTML, and what I'm going to do now is, since we don't need to be here home base can make its way over to these HDMLs. Oh, we've got a Kalmar. I don't want to get near that Kalmar. We've got to get rid of this Laco first. Where else can we head? Let's just let ourselves... Well, what have we got here? Come on. Give me, give me what's there. Sea Viper. Okay, I'm not worried about Sea Viper. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a uh, Vanguard. Not too worried about the Vanguard. This Laco is still the, the primary problem at the moment. And then I want to see if I can salvage my two HDMLs after that. So, Seem to have something else come in now as well. Oh, that's dead. I think this Kalmar is the, the thing we're going to have to kill next. Now we've got enough resources. I might bring something in a little bit bigger to defend, my, to, to defend me. And that is the Flower Corvette. Um, especially designed for defensive escorting it'll only attack if something gets close and it also does have mats anti-submarine um, capability so let's load this in because I think that's going to be important um, it's a it's a nice fairly big ship it's got anti-torpedo and anti-missile uh, capability as well as having reasonable guns but it will stay with um, uh, me rather than disappearing off similar to their HDMLs but I've just got to get past this camera okay my Corvette is done let's go and have a look at the Corvette in action well, that's not good because it got it's got harpooned. Ouch! That's not gonna be good. I have got anti-missiles, but oh, you little bugger! Do I bring something else in with torpedoes to help against this? Come on, I'm trying to tell tell everyone to target this. I think this is... Oh dear. Hmm. I think I'm going to need something, some more torpedoes. Now, I haven't actually got many commodities left. So this is going to be problematic. I need to get this fair mill in. Um, yeah, that Corvette got taken out seriously. Um... Hmm. That was not good. That uh, Kalmar was uh, tough. I need the I need the torpedoes. The torpedoes need are needed to take on these large ships that are coming against me, rather than um, escort ships. 
So this is the last ship I'm going to be able to build without more resources. Hmm. Come on. He's still concentrating on the Corvette, luckily. Um, I think it's just about... Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't, did I do any damage to this? I don't know if I did. He's, he's that that is that's nasty. That that Kalmar with those harpoons. Didn't think of that. It did not really do much. It's done some damage to it, but generally, oh, torpedoes coming in. That's good. Right. I need to get my fair mills and that back to defend me. So, right. What have we still got out there? We've got a pulverizer coming in again. We've still got that Kalmar. Um, but the pulverizer and the Kalmar hopefully will now trying to attack each other. Hopefully, what else have we got out here? We've got a Vanguard, we've got a Dryad. We've got a lot of ships, ships coming out after us at this moment. Um, it's not safe to stop here. Um, we, we're low on resources. We're 6,000 resources. We need to try and sneak some resources in some, from somewhere. Um, We lost that stuff from... Did, it, did that pulverizer get taken out? The pulverizer didn't get taken out. Uh, Engaging now. Well, finally getting into a position where I think... Receiving. They're all sort of Receiving. holding off the enemy to a degree. Mainly with a lot of torpedoes. Um, that I don't know what happened to that Kalmar there's a group around there I'm not too worried about that one um, I think I want to get this transient that's going to be the key vessel to get I think they got that Kalmar but it seems to have disappeared off the off the map at least um, I'm tempted to bring everybody back at the moment returning to Formation. Yep, and see if we can get that transient. So a morning comes up on Netta, and it's been one heck of a night to get through. Um, we've had a Kalmar took out our Corvette. The the fair mills have done quite well at holding off the enemies, but I need them to come back and support me now. I think they're they're offensive range is potentially a little bit too far they're leaving me a little exposed i'm feeling a little um exposed at the moment um certainly oops coming through some of the the disadvantages of, of be constantly being attacked when in this uh, adventure mode is a problem um also the distance that the enemy seem to be coming in they're constantly coming in at that 4000 meter range which is where the fair mills jump in and I'm, I'm wondering if i should knock that down to 3000 meters before they start jumping off to um uh, attack um we lost the hdmls they did do quite well at uh at holding up the enemy um, but they got taken out by, I think there was a pulverizer submarine. So submarines are a problem, definitely in this, in this early game. You do have to allow for some way of taking them out. Obvious one is torpedoes or mines. Uh, at the moment, most of my, uh, the Fairmill bees at least have, uh, torpedoes with a ballast tank on them. The A's only have a surface level, uh, torpedo. Oh, we have some torpedoes being fired out by someone. We do have a little bit of a... Um, there's some resources points out there. If I bring my um, view up again. 
I was heading roughly towards a resource zone. Um, I'm not sure where he's going to now. Okay, he's going there. I was trying to head to that resource zone, I think, to get some resources. Uh, but oh, we've got a lot of salvage. I think uh, my priority is going to be that salvage there, I think, now. I think it's got to be. Returning to formation. Moving now. And then we'll Moving go to that now. resource zone. 33,000 resources is going to be a good, and I can possibly get back that. I need, I need the Corvette. I need the Flower Corvette against subs. Unfortunately, it got taken out by the Kalmar. The Kalmar just was too fast, and, and that ramming would just really did not go well for the <laughs> for the uh, uh, for the flower flower Corvette. Now my fair meals are going out and doing some damage. I might just put give myself a, a little defender. I need something close. Um, so I might give myself another HDML because these HDMLs were good for staying with me until you know needed elsewhere. And I could do the level three HDML. This HDML actually has some custom guns, so it will be a little bit more successful um, at defending me against some of the ships. It's got a proper APS APHE gun. Um, with the fleet heading towards a resource zone up ahead, um, hopefully we can see it. Can't quite see it. I was, it was on the map. We've got the Corvette escorting us, a nice little HDML and an extra armed uh, merchant just behind us just to uh, extra storage repairs and just basically uh, keeping an eye on the area the fair meals are out and about knocking out a few enemy we do have some out there there's a marauder and a few small ships but it seems like a good time to um, save the adventure finally um, had a few issues generally on here. Uh, some of the craft we were coming against that pulverizer was a problem. Um, the Kalmar was until we got enough torpedoes on him. Uh, otherwise, we've been lucky in some ways. I've had a lot of smaller ships coming against me so far. The pulverizer was a close one. Uh, but uh, in actual fact, at one point, I think the there was a uh, Jacob Scorn etc helped me it would, uh, I'm not sure exactly how much is going to be in the recording because I've been recording for about an hour and a half here um, maybe two hours I think uh, had one crash so had to reload um, but not, wasn't a, a major problem I've been saving about every 15 minutes or so so it was only a few minutes left um, out of it but otherwise a fairly lucky start um, the biggest luck was finding that 138 resources um, although the Corvette that I built with it got taken out damn quickly by that Kalmar um, uh, it did help extremely and if you're doing an adventure you've got to look for those points where you can run around and then run into an area to catch up because you've got to remember although they're, everyone's after you they're also all after each other so um if you get a deep water guard and a white flares they will attack each other and if they happen to be bigger ships than you they will go after each other rather than coming after you which is potentially an advantage in this fleet style of um engagement i'm coming I, I'm, I'm using in that i'm not always the biggest ship so they're not always coming after me at the moment they'll go after the corvette potentially rather than me which means i can slip away as such uh downsides at the moment of this particular build i don't have a good way and this is for video um elements a good way of, of looking at, at what's going on i haven't got a control room 
um, maybe I should build one down here or at least put something on this that's got a camera so that I can see what is the the target that's around the primary target as such maybe have to have a think about that as a as a, a potential camera base addition to this uh, I think if we stabilize I'm gonna give one more go at this level and then I will if we survive and my ships are suitable for this sort of level of of um, uh, level we're in I will move up one anyway as always comments about the ships or my idea of having a fleet keeping resources mainly in my ship and the merchants and not in the armored vehicles um the fact i'm not using armored vehicles they're very lightly armed uh basically do you think it's a good idea do you think i'm gonna survive i've got a lot i've got a fair few more ships to come in and they will all get shown before i use them in theory so as always answers down below but keep playing the game and have fun